I know you hear so much about tantric sex, neo-tantra, or sacred sexuality. Exmo asks, can sex lead to enlightenment? I figured that others might have the same question too. So let's go ahead and answer it right here to understand exactly what spiritual sex is. Namaskar. Welcome back to Tantra Thoughts. In this channel, I can help you have a better relationship with yourself and the universe through meditation techniques, tantric wisdom, personal development, and spiritual community. There are three types of sex, physical, mental, and spiritual. Physical sex is when you have sexual intercourse with another person. Mental sex is when you imagine that you're having intercourse with another person. That's what you'd call having a sexual fantasy. When you have mental sex, notice that your body reacts as if you're really having sex. It's as if your body can't tell the difference between imaginary sex or physical sex. For this reason, you might argue that physical sex and mental sex are not all that different. Although you can obviously distinguish the two because it's possible to be having physical sex with somebody and at the same time, be having mental sex with somebody else. But spiritual sex is a psycho-spiritual activity taking you from mind to soul. Spiritual sex occurs simply when you feel that you are one with supreme consciousness. Of course, we wouldn't call that spiritual sex necessarily. We might label that moksha, samadhi, spiritual liberation or enlightenment. This could be a feeling of intense ecstasy and bliss to feel oneness with the universe. If you think it feels good to be one with another person, well, imagine being one with supreme consciousness. The type of sex that can lead to enlightenment is spiritual sex. There are many people who make physical sex a sacred and spiritual act. That's good, and in fact, that's wonderful, because you should be making everything spiritual, from how you eat, to how you exercise, or how you paint, dance, and so on. Whatever you can give a spiritual ideation to, great, do it. So for example, if you're having sex with your partner, you can imagine that you're giving pleasure to the Supreme Consciousness in the form of your partner, and that will truly make your sexual experience spiritual. However, this will not lead you to enlightenment directly, but can be one of your many practices to keep you in a spiritual flow throughout your journey. To attain enlightenment, moksha or spiritual liberation faster, practice tantric meditation. That's the bullet train to enlightenment. There's still a lot of confusion about whether tantra is related to sex or not, right? So you're gonna wanna watch this video right over here where I talk about the root of the misconception and why people think tantra is about sex. Click right over there and I'll see you in that video. Namaskar.